I make one video about how bad your robot ideas are, and you're also funny and silly and quirky that you fucking inundate my comment section with shitty robot ideas. You guys keep pumping them out one after the other, shitty ideas in my goddamn comment section. These ideas, they're, they're turbo shit. So you might be wondering why I would spend my totally valuable time building this model to generate robot ideas for Michael. And the answer is because Michael seems like a guy that understands AI's role in humanity's future. Look at this, breathing, not cool. Very disappointed at the lack of murderous robot uprisings. So why not help out by building something for him that makes his life just a little bit more miserable? So I'm gonna be building a language model on this project and specifically I'm going to be using something called an LSTM, which stands for Long Short Term Memory and it's just a variation of a standard recurrent neural network. The first thing I needed to do was collect data, so I used a comment scraper website to collect the comments from some of Michael's most recent videos, specifically videos with a lot of comments. Then I downloaded the comments as a CSV file. I ended up with a little over 100,000 comments, but a lot of the comments had nothing to do with robot ideas, so the next step was to filter the comments. To filter them, I just removed comments that didn't have the word robot, make, or build in them. I also removed any duplicate comments, and in the end, I was left with a little over 30,000 comments. The next thing I had to do was a bunch of text cleaning, and this includes things like making every word lowercase, removing gibberish words, and so on. The reason for doing this is I'm going to be creating a dictionary of every possible word in my dataset and the model is essentially going to look at every word that's come so far in the sentence and try to predict out of every word in the dictionary which one is supposed to come next. So the smaller the dictionary, the faster and easier the model will be to train. The last thing to do was write a bunch of nerd code that builds the model and trains the model and generates the comments. So now if we run it, we can take a look at some of the results. So as you can see, I have it set up to generate five samples. Each sample contains 10 unique comments, and each sample also starts off with a seed, which is just a randomly selected line from my list of sequences. So let's start off with the first sample. Robot that searches you every time you say shitty robot ideas. Make a Lego that electrocutes people when they stop walking. <laughs> Make a robot that lets you breakfast. You should make a shit drone that shoots paintballs at people. You gay, no, do what I can. You make a TV that fuck you when or going to tell the aliens from getting demonetized. So obviously some of this is just complete gibberish and that's mainly because I'm randomly sampling across the probability distribution. So sometimes a word that is not likely to come next gets picked and then the model then has to make a new prediction and the predictions are going to be even less confident um, because some of it doesn't make sense so sometimes it goes off on a tangent that doesn't really make sense make a robot that subs to PewDiePie so obviously some of these are also overfitted samples something like make a robot that subs to PewDiePie probably occurred a lot in the data set and so the model learns to accurately predict that this is a sample to come next. Um, I tried my best to remove comments that were similar uh, to make only unique comments but some people phrase things differently so it's impossible to remove everything that has to do with PewDiePie so that there's only one comment about PewDiePie but uh, it they're few and far between in terms of uh, all the samples generated. You should make a chair which yells at you when you sit on it. Uh, I, that's probably an overfitted sample. The screaming robot was gonna make it. Make an amp which plays a different song every time you try to sit on it. Make a microwave that screams when you scream at it. <laughs> so I went through and generated a couple more samples and cherry-picked through them to find the best results and these were my favorites among them. 
I also combed through the dataset for each one of these samples just to make sure that they weren't overfitted. Make a robot that makes you perfect toast when you curse at Fortnite. Build a robot that can build a dildo. You should make a robot that tracks down people who make bad robot ideas and deletes them when they suggest a robot. Make a lazy person that just rolls joints. You should make a robot that kills you when people go to sleep. Make a robot that says piece of shit every time you blink. Make a robot that donates money to PETA. Win, make an alarm clock that wakes you up by playing Minecraft. You should make a robot that screams about robots. Make a robot that shoots you when you work out. How about a robot that slaps you in the face when you ask it to make a sandwich? You should make a robot that becomes sentient and make a Kermit the Frog that collects down people and shoots them. Make a robot that shoots eggs when you're too loud. Make a robot that attacks you when you yell at a person. Make a robot that brings you food when you get shot. <laughs> Make a robot that swears when you fart. Make a shock collar that shocks people when you talk. So that's it for this project. Not very complicated, but a fun use of some NLP practices. There are some ways that I can improve the quality of the samples, like training for longer, or even adopting some different architectures. LSTMs and recurrent neural networks are pretty simple to implement, but these days they are kind of dwarfed in performance compared to more advanced models like attention-based models and transformers. OpenAI recently popularized this idea with their GPT-2 model, which is a very large transformer model. However, transformers are very complicated to program, and for a project as simple as this, they're a bit of overkill in my opinion. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if this sort of thing interests you, maybe consider subscribing, and ring the bell so that you get notifications. Also, if for some reason Michael finds this video, I hope you found it pretty amusing, and please don't ban me from your channel. Well, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later.